Hello Libra! Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do a love reading for you for the month of October. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot today. We're going to clarify with some romance angels and follow up with a Whispers of Love Oracle card at the end. Angels, Divine Spirits, and Guides. Also, any of the decks that you see me use in my readings are available on my website for purchase. There's a link in the description box below, along with any other information that you may want to know about me. All right, show me Libra, please, for October 2020. What does Libra need to know in love, please? Show them the message. Yes, they need to see. Libra, Libra, what is going on? Show me Libra. October, love, Libra, love, thank you. Show me Libra. No, say no. And one more for Libra. Final outcome message, please. Angels, show them. Woo! <laughs> so, all right, we got the Six of Wands and we got the Two of Pentacles in the upright. Everything else appears to be face down. So I'll take those two as an outcome. On the bottom of the deck, we do have the Page of Pentacles. And if y'all can just give me a minute, I need to straighten so I can see what's going on here. I can't focus if my cards are not straight. I can't focus. I'm trying to get all of these done. I know we're approaching Mercury retrograde. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> not nervous, but I phew, it, it hits me hard. All right. Um, can you see all of that? I will adjust this light just a little bit because I know these are the shiny cards. Okay, I think, um, let me move this four of wands up so you can see that a little bit better. All right. Well, Libra, I can't even begin to tell you how absolutely beautiful this reading is. There's gifts everywhere. Unfortunately, there appears to be a problem. Isn't there always a problem? <laughs> Your outcome, I mean, I don't want to start with the outcome, but the Six of Wands and the Two of Pentacles reversed. There's a reason that those two came out together like that. Because someone's getting dropped here. Someone's getting walked away from. And this person is not very happy about it. So... Let's start in the middle with the Ten of Pentacles sign of Virgo. A very solid, stable, secure relationship. I'm also getting someone who is either a very wealthy man or is a business owner, possibly even a home-based business. But whatever it is, even like I call the King of Pentacles the banker. This guy might even be a banker. He... And this could be you. If you have any earth in your chart, this could definitely be you. It's just a very successful, grounded person who has everything that they need. Everything. There could be something with property here. Someone who buys and sells properties. Because I do feel like someone is moving out. Anyway... The Queen of Cups in the challenge position in reverse. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. I do call her my upset mother card. So this could be a mother, a mother-in-law, someone who is 
upset, not happy, possibly even crying. I, I, I feel bad for this person, but at the same time, I feel like they're causing a lot of drama and I feel like they're very jealous. Possibly even acting childish over what is happening here. And the main reason that I say that is because the base of the reading, we have the devil in reverse. Sign of Capricorn, which is about being free from an unhealthy, toxic relationship. This Queen of Cups seems to be, she's even looking right at him. Hmm. She seems to be trying to hold on to him. I feel like this person is um, emotionally needy. I feel, I think he has kids with her. I got a page of cups over here and I got a page of pentacles over here. I'm, I'm getting two children. I think there's even, uh, there's one child in this card. This is a very solid, stable man. Well, I mean, it could be any amount of children. It doesn't matter. But you got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, all in the upright position. That's very impressive to me. In the past, we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new beginning, an opportunity, a gift. I kind of feel like either someone... So... This is, I know this is going to be specific, but it may resonate in, in different areas of your life. This king appears to have started a new relationship with another person and possibly was even juggling two women. You could be the third party. I do not even have a three here, but I feel like with that two of pentacles in reverse that there's a third party here. Because someone's getting dropped. No more juggling. You could be the king of pentacles and be the one doing the dropping. I, I don't know. Your energy is not here in this reading. So this could even be going on around you. This could be within the family. I got family cards here. Whatever it is. I mean, this can represent so many different things. I'm feeling like it's an engagement ring. It's either an engagement ring or an announcement that someone's getting married, an announcement that someone has purchased a home, an announcement that someone is moving in together with this judgment card, because this is a big decision. And this comes before the world card. So this is a decision to end something, to end a major chapter. I feel like someone is making an announcement that they're officially done with a person and they're moving on to something new. This already happens. Um, if this is work for someone, somebody's getting a big fat promotion. And there's another person here, a co-worker who's upset. Somebody's getting a lot of recognition, a lot of praise, winning a battle after great struggle. Strength and the Hierophant. Wow. This is literally one of the best readings that I've done in a long time. I, I, I actually kind of feel bad for this queen because I feel like she is accustomed to a certain lifestyle with this king. I feel like she's used to being very pampered, having luxury. And the fact that this king seems to be letting go of her she has to let go of that and that's what she's not happy about it's almost like she's holding on to him for the money i don't even know if she wants him i feel like she wants the lifestyle or she wants i keep hearing she wants the money she wants the money she wants the house she wants i don't know the queen of cups to me usually is not a greedy person but that's what they're saying she wants the money so she might be throwing some kind of fit here trying to interfere in your absolutely beautiful relationship four of wands is in your your roller attitude 
you're getting married, you're moving in together, you are signing papers for a house, a home purchase. You may be announcing this on social media as well. And you're getting like all these wonderful comments. People are like, congratulations and blah, blah, blah. And there's one person you might not even know that they're reading this post and they're, they're not happy about what's happening. All I can tell you is that it's a water sign. But I mean, king of pentacles, is this, if this is the person that you've met, I mean, loyal, dependable, faithful, grounded, stable, probably owns his own business, absolutely beautiful. The four of wands in your role or attitude. 1111, being surrounded by people who love you, being happy, being stable, um, having support, friends, family, moving in together, getting married, celebrating. I mean, you're extremely happy. But this is the role or attitude of the other person or other people. And we have this page of cups reversed, which is also bad news. I feel like this king wants to be free from this queen and she's not taking it well. But he wants to turn his back and walk away. That's the hopes and fears. I feel like this king is worried because he's afraid to walk away from her because I don't know why. He's afraid to start something new not knowing how it's going to turn out. He's afraid of making this announcement and what her reaction is going to be. But I definitely feel like he's walking away from a toxic, unhealthy relationship, someone who causes drama, someone who's a problem. He's in search of his ninth cup, like he's not happy. And the six of wands, final outcome, I mean, come on. Leo energy, success, winning, attention, being put up on a pedestal, recognition, awards, people clapping. Like, hey, you did it. Yay. <laughs> Two of Pentacles reversed. Finally. So I, it, I kind of get the feeling with that outcome that you've been waiting for this to happen for a long time. It's like, because the Six of Wands is triumph after great struggle. It comes after the Five of Wands. There's been a lot of drama. There's been a lot of problems. There's been a lot of arguments. You had to have the strength to go through and follow through and be strong to get what you want. And you're getting what you want. Let's pull some Romance Angels. Making plans. This person might be... Making plans, they just told me making plans to leave this queen. And you're the one that's happy because he's doing it. I don't know if she knows yet. I don't know. You know, comment, be comment below and let me know if any of this is resonating with you because it's very interesting how it's laid out. I feel like you're getting victory through conversation. Like, yes, he's finally doing it. I'm so excited. We're finally going to move in together. We're finally going to get married. We're finally going to take this to the next level. But this this might be a secret. Um, show me Libra, please. A secret that's coming out. Like the decision has been made. There's communication that the decision has been made. Show me Libra, please. Woo! All right. Um, hmm. Should we take all three of them? They came out together. Is this king returning to the past? There's a reconciliation here. This king might be returning to an ex. That's what the deception is, because the reconciliation is the deception. Ooh. Wow. You know what? With the trust card here, though, soulmate, too. With the trust card here, I feel like this is what you're supposed to be doing. But mm, I don't know. I, I feel I actually feel I feel bad for this person. I do. I feel like they're about to lose a lot. 
I'm going to pull you, um, let your friends help you. Well, it just fell out of my hand. I don't know if it's significant or not. Maybe this person is a friend. Oh. Um, I'm going to pull you a Whispers of Love Oracle card. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to close this out. Let's see what final message we get. What's the final message for Libra, please? I am going to read this from the book. The descriptions are pretty short. I mean, but if you don't want to hang out for that, you don't have to. But just so you know, this is the last card that I'm going to pull. Show me Libra, please. Libra Love, October, final outcome. What does Libra need to know? Let me take that one right there. All right, we have 23, which is a 5, also signifies change. Take a chance on love. Wow. When we love, our lives are changed forever. I already know what this is about. These two are just getting in the boat, not knowing where they're going to go. They don't have any oars. And they're just going with the flow, and they're going through this into their new life, their new life, their new beginning, their new world that looks absolutely beautiful. You know, we never know how things are going to turn out. We can just only try and hope for the best. It takes work and effort, you know, to keep things going. So, all right, let's see. Take a chance on love. So many rewards right off the bat will come to you when you love openly. Your care, affection, and appreciation will help others and create more love for you. Let your fear go and give the love you are longing to receive. You will find that it is one and the same. Allow love and relationships to evolve in your life. Life progresses and grows naturally. Be your authentic self. Pay attention to what your heart is saying to you. There is a wonderful opportunity coming your way. I mean, I couldn't have said it better myself. A young couple rides over turbulent waters. There's, there's issues here. Um, in a boat with no oars. A face in the distance watches over them. There is much you cannot control, but you can govern how you feel. It can be difficult to get to the next phase in a relationship while fear is blocking you. Hmm, there is fear here. Um, there are always angels or guides beside you. You can rely on them when you are looking for extra support. With that said, Libra, I am going to leave that there. Uh, if any of this resonated with you, good luck. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Best wishes to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.